morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of a vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your well-being and to your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, inflammatory diseases, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all. It is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition, we are here for you on the bright side. If you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that, too. Our number is 855-660-4261. We welcome your phone calls. Try to get on board early. I hate leaving people on hold, and I hate having to cut you off. Our phone lines fill up quickly, and it is first come, first serve at 855-660-4261. If you want to purchase any of the MJV products that you hear us talk about on the Bright Side, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com. we got a shopping cart up with all the Longevity products, including my personal favorite Longevity product, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 multivitamin mineral complex powder. It's loaded with nutrients, especially water-soluble vitamin C and water-soluble B complex, water-soluble aminos and water-soluble electrolytes. These are the nutrients that get urinated out throughout the day. Many folks are subclinically deficient in these nutrients. That is, they don't know specifically they're deficient, but given the fact that they're water-soluble and they pass through the system so quickly, invariably deficiencies will arise. You can replace those nutrients that you lose with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It tastes awesome. 50 bucks a canister, the new one. The 2.0 tastes especially good. has a nice peach flavor. It's just 50 bucks a canister. And if you're like most folks, you're going to notice results like appetite suppression, more energy, lower blood pressure. You'll be able to wean yourself off your medications more effectively. Give it a shot. If you haven't tried it yet, you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com. You can also check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with news stories and blog posts. Got a blog post coming up today on inulin and FOS, prebiotics. That's up at pharmacist. That will be up at pharmacistben.com. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 for a one-time $10 fee. You can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, make a little bit of money. And on top of all that, you can enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, including tax write-offs, writing off your home office, writing off samples, writing off mileage. And it's all for a one-time $10 fee. Of course, you can make some money doing it, too. All right. We are talking about albumin. We're talking about protein as it regards bone building. This whole discussion we've been spending several months now involves osteoporosis and bone building. And you notice we haven't even talked about calcium yet. That's what everybody seems to talk about when it comes to bone strength. And certainly calcium is important. But we've talked about phosphorus and we've talked about sulfur and we've talked about vitamin C and we've talked about protein and amino acids. We've talked about all kinds of nutrients. We'll continue talking about more nutrients in the coming days and weeks. And then probably we'll get to calcium as well, which of course is important, but not as important as you would think when it comes to building healthy bones. Yesterday we left off the program referring to albumin, which is the blood's most important protein, and how albumin can break down in response to sugar, bad blood sugar or dysglycemia, as it is technically known as, is ultimately a two-part dysfunction or a two-part pathology, a two-part breakdown in the body results from two parts, two biochemical breakdowns, if you will, 
too much sugar, too much blood sugar, and poor insulin response. Yesterday we said that sugar represents a fire and insulin represents the fire department. Diabetes or pre-diabetes or or a dysglycemia, bad blood sugar, is a lot of fire and not a lot of firemen. Actually, in type 2 diabetes, there's plenty of firemen, but unfortunately, no one's listening. Sugar-storing cells have tuned out insulin. They stop listening to the fire department. They've been bombarded with insulin for so long because we're pounding our bodies with sugar and refined carbohydrates that cells just stop listening to insulin. They're like, forget it. We just heard from you a minute ago, half an hour ago, an hour ago, and this keeps happening over and over again. That's called insulin resistance, and the ultimate the ultimate sign of insulin resistance is elevated blood sugar that doesn't go down. When elevated blood sugar, when blood sugar stays elevated, it can react with various proteins in the body, especially the protein albumin, which is the blood's most important and most abundant protein, and the protein hemoglobin, which is a very important oxygen transporting protein. And ultimately, we're off to the degenerative disease races. This is called insulin insensitivity or insulin resistance. The more sugar we eat, the more insulin comes out. The more sugar we eat, the more insulin comes out. The more sugar we eat, the more insulin comes out. And over time, cells just stop listening. Cells become resistant. And now you got big, big problems because now blood sugar stays elevated and blood reactions with uh, sugar reactions with blood proteins continue. The higher the insulin, the higher the problems. By the way, insulin resistance is a problem not just because cells stop listening to insulin, but because insulin does other things. Insulin's a growth hormone. It makes cells divide. So even though cells aren't listening to insulin's command to process sugar, all the other effects of insulin are still going on. For example, even though insulin, insulin's effects on sugar processing are reduced or diminished, insulin's effects on dividing cells, making cells divide, that's not diminished at all. Elevated insulin, as insulin levels go up in order to, to get it to work a little bit more efficiently to process sugar, as that insulin goes up, your cells are starting to divide really fast. That means cysts. That means growth. Ultimately, insulin elevations are responsible for fibroids and cysts and growth, especially reproductive cysts and growths. If you have polycystic ovarian syndrome, for example, chances are really, really good you're dealing with insulin resistance. If you have fibrocystic breasts, same deal. If you have fibroids or cysts anywhere in the body, the chances are really, really good that you're dealing with insulin resistance and elevated insulin levels. Anytime you have growths, whether it's skin tags, ovarian cysts, PCOS, breast fibroids, uterine fibroids, the chances are really good you're looking at the effects of elevated insulin and insulin resistance. And by the way, this ultimately means... Elevated uh, elevations in insulin are going to be associated with the emperor of all maladies, cancer. Yes, the chances are really, really good that if you're dealing with cancer, you're also dealing with an insulin and a blood sugar problem as well. And you can always tell insulin resistance by its classic sign, which is abdominal fat. The belly is the major fat storage area in the body, and when you're insulin resistant, you will tend to accumulate fat in this area. This is especially noticeable in people who were skinny all their lives, and all of a sudden in their late 20s or early, or early 30s, they started to get a little, they call it a beer belly. And a beer belly is just a classic example of insulin resistance, blood sugar problems, and diabetes waiting to happen. This is why everyone past the age of, say, 30 or 35, has to work harder to make sure that they don't get a flabby gut or a, or a beer belly. If you're one of the many, many folks who were skinny your whole life, and then as you got into your 30s, you started to notice that you're getting a little flabbier in the gut, your belly's getting a little bigger, your pant size is going up, you are most certainly looking at the signs of insulin resistance, and you are most certainly on the road to the deadly, di deadly disease, diabetes. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side. Our number today is 855-660-4261. We do have a line open for you. We'll get your phone calls in our third segment. When we come back, we got more good information about insulin resistance. Hang tight. We'll be back right after this.
First, keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Friends, this is Alex Jones for MidasResources.com. For more than 15 years, I have exclusively used Midas Resources for all my precious metal needs. Whether it's bullion or collectibles you're looking for, Midas Resources is simply the best. I own my gold as a hedge against inflation. This Federal Reserve fiat currency could go the way of the Deutschmark and the Weimar Republic any time. In these historically dangerous times, it makes sense to physically hold gold and silver. Midas already has some of the best deals in the industry. But if you give them a call and mention the radio special, they will give you a list of the day's super specials. Midas brokers are standing by to answer all your questions at 800-686-2237. They also have a lot of informative free literature explaining the opportunities and risk of holding precious metals. They are ready to answer your questions at 800-686-2237. Again, that's 800-686-2237. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited-time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. Well, my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. G-C-N. Great talk radio starts here. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. And if you like what you hear, we're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. If you miss a program or you want to review a program or you want to direct a client to a program, you can head over to brightsideben.com and take a look at our archive page. We have uh, probably a couple hundred programs up, and uh, all the programs are put up on the archive page mm, six or seven hours, at least uh, at the most six or seven hours after we do a program. So if you want to listen to a program when you get home at night, if you missed it during the day, head over to brightsideben.com. You'll also find a shopping cart up there with all the longevity products 
that you hear us talk about on the program and a join the team link that you can click on if you want to start a longevity business. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470. All right, we're talking about uh, insulin resistance and diabetes. Insulin resistance is when the cells, uh, our cells stop listening to insulin, even though cells stop listening to insulin's uh, sugar commands or sugar processing commands. The cells don't stop listening to insulin's divide commands. So cells keep dividing even though they're not listening to insulin's sugar commands, sugar processing commands. They're still dividing. They're still growing in response to elevated insulin. Cells growing out of control can show up as skin tags, fibroid cysts, and ultimately, ultimately cancer. And behind all of these issues, behind all fibroid issues, cyst issues, skin tags, cancer even, you're going to more than likely find problems with insulin. This is such good news because what it means is we have control over our skin tags. We got control over our cysts. We got control over our fibroids, at least in large part, simply by reducing our, our, uh, uh, the amount of in, our intake of refined carbohydrates and refined sugars and reestablishing insulin sensitivity. We can eliminate and reverse fibroids and cysts. Never, ever, ever, Ever let a doctor yank out your uterus or cut off any of your organs or glands or, or anything in your body simply because you got cysts and fibroids. Folks, women, you need your uterus. I don't care if you're postmenopause. You need everything in your body, and having a lot of cysts is not a reason to take out your uterus or have a hysterectomy. And don't let any bonehead medical professional say, it doesn't matter. You will just put you on hormone replacement therapy for the rest of your life, and you won't know the difference. Baloney. If you got fibroids or you got cysts, the first thing you want to do is start to reestablish insulin sensitivity by upping your protein intake and reducing your intake of refined processed carbohydrates. Now, you notice I didn't say reducing your intake of carbohydrates. I said reducing your intake of refined processed carbohydrates. That's because you need your veggies, and veggies should form the bulk of everybody's diet, even carnivores. Vegetables are powerful, powerful medicine. They're filling. They're sustaining. They can help us process sugar, and they can help us wean off of sugar by uh, creating satiety and creating a sense of fullness. So you want to make sure that you're eating lots of veggies, but you want to make sure that you're reducing your intake of refined carbohydrates if you suspect insulin, insulin resistance. And guess what? We're all probably dealing with insulin resistance after the age of, say, 30 or 35. Another biochemical breakdown that's associated with insulin resistance involves the male hormone testosterone, which isn't only a male hormone, by the way, even though we call it a male hormone. You know, sex hormones, estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, we call them sex hormones, but they're really not sex hormones. They got way more important roles to play than just involving sex and reproduction. These so-called sex hormones are involved in stress management. They're involved in bodybuilding. They're involved in brain health and the health of the central nervous system. You don't want to think of testosterone as merely being a, uh, a sex hormone or a male hormone. You want to think of testosterone as being a health hormone, a healing hormone, a growth and repair hormone, a wellness hormone, a, a, a well-being hormone. And if you have insulin resistance, you're going to have a problem with testosterone too. That's because insulin and testosterone cross-react. They're both involved in building. They're both involved in anabolism, which is a fancy way of saying building. Unfortunately, this relationship means that there's also going to be a relationship between insulin resistance and testosterone. Insulin resistance can lead to testosterone resistance. That means that if you're starting to become less sensitive to insulin, the chances are pretty good that you're going to be less sensitive to testosterone too. That means you're going to be less sensitive to testosterone's bodybuilding effects, muscle building effects, bone building effects, well-being effects, growth and repair effects. Can you see how significant this is? If you're dealing with insulin resistance, you're probably not going to be growing and repairing and bodybuilding and muscle building and bone building as effectively either. Over time, as your body, as your body cells become resistant to insulin, it will become resistant to testosterone as well. Testosterone is a growth hormone, not a good thing. That means feminization in men. That means loss of muscle mass. That means excess feminization in women. That means impotence. That means loss of fertility and sex drive. That means getting older faster. Insulin resistance is not good, folks. 
Insulin resistance, act, uh, insulin, the hormone, acts like testosterone. Bodybuilders will sometimes inject themselves with insulin or something called insulin growth factor, insulin-like growth factor, to get bigger. So in the same fashion that the body stops listening to insulin, it can also stop listening to testosterone. That's called testosterone resistance, and it's one of the more unfortunate signs of male aging. If you ever, uh, uh, if you watch even a little bit of TV, you're going to see commercials for low T and for testosterone products like Androgel, impaired sexual performance, loss of muscle mass, fatigue, lethargy, depression. These are all signs of problems making or utilizing testosterone. If you watch these commercials, it sounds like all you got to do is get more testosterone and you're going to be fine. Unfortunately, if you're like most folks, as we get older, you're going to be insulin resistant, and then testosterone supplementation isn't going to help you. If you're dealing with testosterone, resist, uh, testosterone problems, low levels or low effects of testosterone, it may not be low T as much as it's low T response. It may not be that you just don't have enough testosterone. It may be that you got plenty of testosterone, but your cells aren't listening to testosterone. That means simply by using your androgel or getting your testosterone injections, that might not help. There's a lot of folks who use testosterone and they don't get the testosterone benefits. If you got the signs of a weakened testosterone response or somebody, uh, some well-meaning physician puts you on androgel or is giving you testosterone injections and you're not noticing the really good effects, the chances are pretty good that you're dealing with an insulin problem, insulin resistance. And this is especially true if you got belly fat or you have a cysts or skin tags or fibroids. Chances are really good if you have any of these signs of insulin resistance that it's not a testosterone problem as much as you have an insulin problem. All right, so there's a second problem associated with dysglycemia, problems with sugar. The first problem is insulin resistance. Cells stop listening to insulin's sugar commands, but they still divide and they still uh, grow rapidly. That's called insulin resistance, big problem. But there's a second problem with, uh, with uh, pr- uh, dysglycemia, bad blood sugar, or prediabetes, and that's the elevations in sugar in the blood. Sugar is bad news, people. It's explosive, and it reacts with proteins, as we said yesterday. And as sugar levels go up in the blood, blood proteins, as well as the proteins in the cells that line the blood vessels, are likely to get damaged. I'll explain how this whole thing works here on our next Bright Side episode. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Our number is 855-660-4261. We do have a line open for you. We'll get your phone calls right after this break. Don't go away. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these specials. A 14 by 21 foot shop for under 6000 or a 50 by 100 for under 30000 You heard right. That's 5000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. One in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV. 
the burglar deterrent. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Which do you love best, Thanksgiving dinner or leftovers? The meal takes such time and effort, you wish it was easier so you could have it more often. Well, right now it is. Right now you can. Imagine your family enjoying the ultimate comfort food easily during stressed out times of a disaster or emergency or outdoors while camping or hiking. The freeze-dried feast from Freeze Dry Guy is a special case of Thanksgiving dinner ready for you any day of the year for at least 25 years. Freeze-dried turkey tetrazzini, green beans, dehydrated potatoes and sweet potatoes. Yes, even dessert. This delicious feast is ready to eat when you want or need it most easily in just minutes. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. There's free shipping, plus your family could win a free traditional Thanksgiving dinner. Go now to freezedryguy.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. Back on the bright side. Thank you, friends, for being here. Our number eight five five six six zero forty two sixty one. Let's go to Oklahoma and welcome Bill to the bright side. What's up, Bill? Thanks for calling back, buddy. Hey, good morning, Ben. Good morning, uh, my friend. Uh, first thing I wanted to talk to you about is, is uh, the uh, fermenting and pickling, and that we've uh, gotten into that over the last year and, and just really enjoyed it. it it's very easy. Did you say ferment? I'm sorry, you said fermenting and pickling? Fermenting, yes. Pickling, yes. Nice, yes. nice, nice. What are you fermenting? Yes. And, uh, well, my first was green beans with uh, jalapeno peppers and mm. onions and garlic. Oh, oh that sounds awesome. <laughs> that sounds yeah, awesome. And, Bill, uh, Bill, we, Bill, hang on, Bill. Are, am I on a, are you on a speaker? I'm, I'm on, a, on, no. I'm okay. on my, uh, on a I'll tell you what, I'm on uh, my earbud, uh, Bluetooth. Okay, and, and well, I, I want everybody to hear your recipe. That sounds so delicious, and I want to hear your recipe, your formula for doing that, the green beans and jalapeno, uh, pickled green beans and jalapeno, but I'm having a hard time hearing you. So speak clearly and slowly and tell everybody, including myself, how you did it. Okay, uh, you know, got a, uh, the crock and uh, then uh, simply uh, pick my fresh green beans and the 
but jalapeno peppers and little uh, small onions, you know, uh, pearl onions and uh, the garlic, and <laughs> mix them all together with uh, uh, pickling spice. Uh, I think we use Mrs. Wages. Uh, What's it called, Mrs. Spice. Mrs. What? Mrs. Wages. W a w a g e s wages. I believe it is. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes. And uh, then the pickling salt. Uh, but the the book that I used uh, was fermentation factor uh, okay, good. with the recipe, and that's Abigail Adams, and it Ferment- comes from fermentation factor. Okay. Is the, the title of the book, and it's by Abigail Adams, and it's from Solutions from Science. So I, I suspect that this is Mike Adams, the help ranger's wife. Uh, and I, think, I don't know about that. No, it's not. I don't think it is. It's not? No, okay. it's not. Uh, but that's still, I, I know, I'm familiar with the book, Fermentation Factor. Uh, and there's some nice, okay. you got the recipe from that book? I did. But, okay, very nice. Oh, no. No, <laughs> hang on here. Uh, okay. Um, you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, the other book uh, that that I started uh, making some vinegar from is uh, Wild Fermentation. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, that's a classic. That's a classic Wild Fermentation. I think I got it right here in my library. (laughs) Yeah, that's a good one. All right. All right, real, uh, Bill, I've got a full board here. I want to get to, uh, I want to, I don't want to leave anybody on hold. So how can we help you? What's your question today? Okay. My question is, is right what you, you've been answering my question. I, I was doing the hormone, the uh, testosterone injections, and they wasn't doing me any good except raising my red blood cell count, which is iron, right? Well, it could be it could be a lot of things, but uh, if you're not getting the benefits of testosterone, Bill, as I was saying earlier, the chances are really good, and everybody's dealing with this problem. So don't feel don't feel like uh, you know this is unique to you. The chances are really good that you got some insulin resistance problems. This happens as we get older. So if you're uh, if you're dealing with uh, if you're taking testosterone but you're not getting the benefits and you think you're dealing with insulin resistance, start to take in more protein number one, and start uh, uh, reduce your intake of sugars and refined carbohydrates number two, and then third. And I didn't say this earlier, but I'm going to say it right now, is you got to do some kind of weight-bearing exercise. If you're just taking protein and you're just taking okay. testosterone, but you're not building muscle and you're not forcing your body to make muscle, that protein isn't going to do you much good. You want to have that protein that you're taking in and the testosterone that you're taking as well or using as well if you're on a testosterone replacement therapy. You want that to go to building tissue and building muscle and building bone for that matter. So get yourself in the gym. It only have to do about 15 minutes a day, three or four days a week. You don't have to make a big deal of it. It's less than an hour a week. Week, and that's plenty of anabolic movement or anabolic exercise, uh, bodybuilding exercise that will allow your uh, your body to to utilize that protein that you're intaking and the testosterone that you're using as a medication. And this is this is true for everybody, but especially if you're one of those folks who got on androgel or is using the testosterone injections, but you're not getting the benefits. Uh, uh, so uh, number one, more protein. Number two, reduce your intake of anything that spikes your blood sugar, so you can resensitize your uh, your uh, body's insulin response and. And then number three, uh, anabolic, weight-bearing, bodybuilding types of exercise. And please don't feel like you need to go get yourself an expensive membership or a fancy trainer. All you have to do is spend about 15 minutes of some serious workout. In fact, if you can work out with weights for more than a half an hour, you're doing it wrong. If you're sitting there doing curls and you're doing like uh, you know 80 pound dumbbells and you're trying to do 10 reps or 15 reps you're doing them wrong because that means that you're using momentum more than you're using muscle that's a whole other story we'll get into on another day but for now just understand it doesn't take a lot of anabolic exercise but you got to do some of it by the way there's also supplements that you can use to resensitize your body's insulin response alpha lipoic acid is an awesome supplement for resensitizing your body's insulin response around 400 milligrams a day. We talk a lot about chromium and vanadium on this program. Chromium and vanadium both work by resensitizing your body's insulin response. B vitamins can do it, especially thiamine and niacin. Magnesium can resensitize your body's insulin response, and many of us are deficient in magnesium. There's a whole bunch of supplements that you can use to resensitize your body's insulin response. So, number one, reduce insulin, uh, reduce insulin spiking foods, the intake of refined carbohydrates and sugars. Number two, more protein, especially whey and egg protein. Number three, bodybuilding, weight 
sparing exercises, but not not going crazy on them. And then number three, supplements that will resensitize the insulin response, and that will get you a better testosterone, testosterone response as well. Okay, Bill? Okay. All right. Thank you, buddy. God bless, and good luck, and have a beautiful, wonderful day. All righty. Let's see. Uh, Teresa in Iowa, you've been holding on a long time. What's going on? Teresa? Teresa. Do we have Teresa? Hello. Hello. What's cooking, Hello. Teresa? Welcome to the Bright Side. Thank you. Um, I'm in the process of editing my auto ship from Longevity, and okay. um, I get the Ultimate EFA Plus for mainly for my son for his acne. Okay. And I noticed there's a just an Ultimate EFA and then the EFA Plus. Uh, what's the difference, and which is one diff- is better? You know, that's a great question, actually. Personally, believe it or not, I like the Ultimate EFAs a little bit better than the uh, Ultimate EFA Plus. They're kind of similar, but uh, as it turns out, the Ultimate EFA is, in my opinion, is a better product than the EFA Plus. Uh, in the Ultimate EFA, you get 455 milligrams of alpha Linoleic, linolenic acid, which is uh, your parent omega-3, and in the plus version, you only get 300 milligrams. So you get nearly 50% more of the ome- parent omega-3 in the plain EFA, uh, plain ultimate EFA, than you do in the plus. Uh, as far as omega-6 fatty acids go, in the, uh, in the plus version, you get 190 milligrams of omega-6, and in the, I'm sorry, in the regular version, you get 190 milligrams, in the plus version, you only get 103 milligrams. So you get more in the regular version, although uh, you do get a little extra omega-9, which is not considered an omega-3, and you do get something called EPA. Both of those are in the plus version that you don't get in the regular, but I don't think that makes a big difference. Hang on. uh, I'll finish up when we come back from our break, Teresa. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to uh, as many of our calls today as we can. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right now. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. What looks good under your Christmas tree and tastes even better? Big Berkey water filters. Yes, the gift of clean water. A gift that provides a great foundation for achieving good health in the lives of your loved ones. A Big Berkey water filter gives them protection from bacteria, heavy metals, chlorine, fluoride, pesticides and herbicides, VOCs and more. And best of all, a Big Berkey water filter is a gift that lasts for many years with no additional investment. And that saves time and money in filter replacements that other water filters require and are even powerful enough 
enough to purify treated, untreated, or even stagnant pond water. As always, all orders over $50 are shipped free, and GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Order online at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com, spelled Big, B-E-R-K-E-Y, WaterFilters.com, or call 877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-B-E-R-K-E-Y. Gift well this Christmas. Give a Big Berkey water filter. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapriate e-liquid by LeSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapriate e-liquid by LeSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapriate e-liquid by LeSig a long time ago. LeSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiasts with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, LeSig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a vapriate at LeSig.com or call 870-525-1440. 870-525-1440. LeSig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, uh, we're back on the bright side talking to Teresa in Iowa. Are you there, ma'am? Teresa? Yes. yes. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know why they call it the EFA++. I like the plain EFA, ultimate EFA, better. As I was saying before the break, there's around 50% more of the omega-3 parent in the, in the regular version. Uh, there's more of the omega-6. There is, uh, I think there's more of the o- oleic acid. i got to look that up, though, if there's more oleic acid. There is, more, yes. There is more oleic acid in the, plain, yeah. oh, in the plain one, right? Yeah. I don't know why they call it the plus, the plus. I'm going to have to look into that, although I will, I do know the plus has something called EPA in it that is not in the regular, but that's not that big a deal. Uh, personally, I, personally, I would use the, the plain one. Is that what you're using now as the regular EFA? No, ultimate? we were using the plus, and then I saw that the EFA is actually a little bit more, uh, less expensive. You know what? If it's me, I'm going with the regular, the plain old ultimate EFA. Just okay. my opinion. If anybody else has a different opinion, I'd like to hear, but that's my opinion. Now, can, can I run down to you what we're giving him for his acne and tell me what you think? Well, you know, instead of doing that, that's, uh, why don't we do this? And I do have a couple. Uh, I've got a few folks I want to get to, so let's do this. Tell me real quickly about w- w- what his acne looks like, what the pimples look like. This is how you, by the way, folks, this is how you assess uh, acne, because there's not really a thing called acne. There's multiple disease states, skin disease states that we call acne, and they're all different, and they all require different treatments. And so by knowing, by assessing what the lesions, the, the zits basically look like and where they appear, you can make a determination on how, how best to treat uh, the type of skin disease that you're dealing with. Uh, so uh, real quickly, what do the blemishes look like? Are they rashy or are they pimply? Are they round, isolated zits, or is it diffuse rashes all over, uh, diffuse rash all over his face? No, it's it's more of the round, isolated, and it's, it's just it. mainly on his cheeks, and they get pretty okay. big and red. Okay, good. You're dealing, uh, the cheek area is a non-sebaceous or less sebaceous area. Your sebaceous glands are your oil glands, and they're located primarily in the T-zone. If you have T-zone pimples, those are different from the kind of pimples that show up on the cheek. The cheek is more of an immune lymphatic condition, and it implies some kind of toxicity that's getting into the body rather than uh, hormone, uh, uh, hormone dysfunction. So you've got two main kinds of dysfunctions that cause these lesions. One involves hormones, testosterone, and insulin, especially. And the other involves toxins that get into the body, most, pro- most especially through food, toxins and allergens, I should say. Uh, on the cheek, you're probably looking at a food issue. So what you want to be doing is you want to be focusing largely on the digestive system and focusing on f- uh, problem foods. You can also use probiotics and other digestive support supplements. I'll tell you what those are in a second. Does he ha- How old is your boy, first of all? 18. Okay, does he have a history that way of, of digestive gluten intolerance, digestive problems, constipation, anything like that? And, if you, and don't just say no, think back, and if you're not sure, uh, that's something that you want to look at. Was he colic as a baby, for example? No, he wasn't, but he, he did have problems with constipation when he was, you know, younger. 
Bingo. maybe five, five Bingo. to ten years old. Bingo. Then and he does with... have a sister with Crohn's disease. And there you go. You're dealing with a food problem. So what you want to do is focus, and I'm going to have to move on here, Teresa, but if you want, you can either call back tomorrow or you can shoot me an email, uh, and I'll get, uh, I'll get back to you personally. But what you're dealing with is a food problem, okay? So okay. number one, you want to focus on problem foods and then eliminate those. Grains are usually the, uh, 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 a primary suspect, but dairy can be a problem. Eggs can be a problem. Peanuts and legumes and soy can be problems. Anything can be a problem. But the big ones are going to be uh, dairy, grains, eggs, and legumes. So eliminating those is a great start. Then you want to start using probiotics and fermented foods. If you want a good longevity product, the Biolumin Nightly Essence is probably your, uh, your best bet, as well as the Z-Radical product. I would also be using digestive enzymes. And then, also, uh, and then also apple cider vinegar. You may also want to try bile salts as well as uh, uh, lecithin after meals. Then uh, there's some other nutrients that are both for the skin and the digestive tract. The B vitamins and zinc fit that bill. All the B complex, but especially pantothenic acid, which is vitamin B5, niacin, which is vitamin B3, and then thiamine, which is vitamin B1. Get them on 50 milligrams, 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day, and then get them on that OPC selenium. Um, anywhere from 300 to 600 micrograms a day. There's tons more you could do, but that's the direction that you want to take. Don't go to a dermatologist if you haven't been. Uh, no, we're go not. Good for you, because there's nothing a dermatologist can do for you when it comes to digestive acne. And if you want more information, you can either call me back tomorrow, or you can shoot me an email, Ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for your call, Teresa. Appreciate Thank it very you. much. Hope we helped you out. Okay, Larry in Indiana, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? Good morning, Larry. Ben. Good morning, good morning yeah, sir. Good morning, Ben. Um, uh, quick question about vitamin D, getting vitamin D from the sun, and then I have a question about metformin. Sure. Um, can you get vitamin D behind a glass enclosure indoors, uh, uh, or will it work? Yeah, you can, not as well, but, yeah, you can get some vitamin D that way, depending on the glass, but standard glass probably that's not a problem. If you can burn, you're going to get vitamin D. That's the rule of thumb. Vitamin D comes in, uh, is activated by uh, UVB, which is your burning ray. The uh, sunlight comes in, 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 is fractionated into various forms. So when you see a, uh, a ray coming from the sun or light coming from the sun, what you're looking at is three different, three different lengths, three different wavelengths or three different frequencies, if you will. One is called UVA, one is called UVB, and one is called UVC, logically enough. UVB is the energy or the frequency of sunlight that is associated with burning, and it's also associated with the production of vitamin D. So if you can burn, you're making vitamin D. That's why these uh, tanning booths that take out UVB don't give you any, they may give you a tan, but they don't give you any vitamin D. So you want to be able to contact your skin with the burning ray. You don't want to burn, of course, but you want to be contacting your skin with the burning ray in order to get vitamin D, and that will occur through glass, depending on the glass, of course. And then what was your okay. question? What, uh, then I, I know a lady who's in her mid-50s. She's been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, insulin resistant. Uh, her blood sugar consistently runs high. Uh, they've got her on metformin, and also she's shooting insulin, injecting insulin. And wow. she wants to get off of that stuff because she feels awful, and she has, she's fainted before okay. due to the low blood sugar uh, spikes. After she, and, after she takes the metformin, she's fainted? Or after she had a uh, no, it was just one incident, uh, and then that's when she got diagnosed. Okay, well, she was hypoglycemic. Probably she's got um, problems with insulin. The way metformin works is it suppresses the liver's production of glucose. Ordinarily, sugar is made in the liver. Uh, metformin suppresses that. It also has some effects on it, on sensitizing insulin. How do you how do you deal with weaning yourself? And by the way, anybody can wean themselves off of metformin if they're willing to change their diet and their lifestyle. Anybody. Nobody has to permanently be put on that poison. If you need it, you need it. But your number one health goal, if you're on metformin or any drug, should be to wean yourself off of it if you're interested in maintaining longevity and eliminating or preventing the formation of worse diseases. How do you do it? Number one, reduce your intake of bread and pasta and cereal and snacks and fruit juices and fruits, for that matter. Anything that spikes your blood sugar should be uh, reduced. Any foods, that, uh, any foods that spike your blood sugar should be reduced. You want your intake reduced. How do you do it? You don't try to use willpower because we're addicted to these things. Just like we get addicted to Coke and heroin and other drugs, we get addicted to these kinds of foods, and food manufacturers certainly know how to exploit that with advertising and, and psychological techniques involving marketing and labels and packages, etc. So don't try to use your willpower. 
Start using satiety-inducing foods, especially whey protein and egg protein. They're filling and they're satisfying. Even steak and meat, if you're car- a carnivore, it can be filling and can be satisfying. Vegetarians will notice that they can't stop eating. My girlfriend's a vegetarian, and she can't stop eating. She eats and eats and eats, and nothing, fits, nothing fills her up because she's not getting enough protein. This is a very common thing that uh, vegetarians deal with. As, and I, I'm a vegetarian myself, but I have to pay close, or mostly a vegetarian. I don't want to say I'm officially a vegetarian because I may feel like eating meat someday. But I know that I have to focus on making sure I'm getting egg protein or whey protein, or I'm going to keep eating and eating and eating. So you have to... Make sure that you're getting enough protein uh, in order to wean yourself off of these uh, insulin-spiking foods that will set you on the road to metformin or or even worse, insulin injections. That's the first thing she wants to do. Then start using insulin-supporting nutrients, nutrients that support or resensitize insulin. We gave you a bunch of them just moments ago. Zinc, the B-complex, especially thiamine and niacin, alpha-lipoic acid, magnesium, the amino acids taurine and arginine, the B-vitamin-like substance choline, all of these can help re, uh, resensitize your, uh, your body's insulin response. And, of course, chromium, vanadium, the sweeties from longevity can do it too. MSM might do it. And also selenium can be helpful in this regard, the OPC selenium from longevity. So uh, weaning yourself off of metformin and insulin uh, injections is not only possible, it's advisable. It's something that you want to do. Folks, you can't just take a prescription drug like metformin and expect that all that's going to happen is you're going to get the benefits. You're going to get toxicities and side effects and adverse reactions and your body's going to have to break that stuff down and it's going to use up precious nutrients to do it, there's very little upside to these prescription drugs unless you are a shareholder in a drug company or a CEO. That's all I'm going to say about that. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Sorry if we left you on hold. Give us a call back tomorrow and we'll get you first up. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. Check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com or sign up and join The Bright Side Ben team. Call The Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. Have a wonderful awesome, beautiful day, folks. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. My name is Frank Bates, and i got a confession to make. Just a few days ago, FEMA went directly to my supplier and tried to buy my entire stockpile of high-quality survival food. It sounds crazy, but I'll show you the exact letter they sent in a minute. Revealing FEMA's plot could land me in hot water, but I think you deserve to know exactly what they're doing. Go to FEMAHatesThis.com to see undeniable video proof that the government is on the hunt for as much survival food as they can grab in 24 hours. Be warned, it's really disturbing because the fact is FEMA must know something we don't. Go to FEMAHatesThis.com to see why survival food is the number one item to hoard right now and why supplies are so low or even completely sold out already at many stores across America. Do it now because I don't know how long it will be online, so go to FEMAHatesThis.com while you can. That's FEMAHatesThis.com. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Will the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me? Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com.